So I'm Rick Hansen. Welcome to Wednesday Meditation. Our schedule is simple. We will meditate until 35 minutes past the hour and then take a brief break until 15 minutes before the next hour, 15 minutes before 7 p.m. in California, where I'm located at Pacific time. Then I'll offer a talk on the gratitude that opens the heart and frees the mind. In other words, the gratitude that builds on conventional forms of gratitude into and opens us into uh, what actually can be a liberating awakening through the path of thankfulness. So I'll be talking about that, including uh, responding to questions and comments from people in the chat sidebar, and maybe talking with one or two people. So let's begin with a meditation that I'm gonna draw upon from my book, Neurodharma. If you wanna locate the meditation that I'm using from that book, it's on page 241, and I'll adapt it for our purposes here. So let's begin. So find a posture that supports you, helps you stay alert while also being comfortable. Feel free to shift in the chair, move your body, get settled. You can have your eyes open or closed. Let's take a few full breaths. Coming home to the present. In this time, in this place, here and now. Be aware of breathing, or if you like, choose something else to focus on that is steady and comfortable. Maybe sensations elsewhere like your feet, or a word or an image. Something that helps you stay grounded, such as the ongoing sensations of breathing. Resting in the present, in two senses of the word. First, establishing yourself in the present. Stably present as experiences flow through awareness. You're rested in the present, stably. And in the second meaning, you're resting, you're relaxing. You're at ease.
potentially recharging your batteries and refueling yourself. Resting in the present. As you rest in the present, be mindful of the aspect of experience that's about receiving. Receiving physical air as you inhale. Receiving sensations of breathing while you breathe. Sounds appearing in awareness, receiving these. Receiving the support of the chair beneath you, the ground beneath your feet. Opening to the feeling of receiving. Letting it be okay to receive. Allowing what you receive to flow through you. It's okay to open open to receiving. In this meditation, we'll be focusing on aspects of gratitude as the object of attention. In the background, you may have an ongoing feeling of your body, your breathing. And in the foreground of awareness, you can dwell in so that it increasingly dwells in you, the sense of gratitude. This could be called a concentration practice or a samadhi practice in which we become absorbed in gratitude while absorbing it into ourselves. So bring to mind some simple things you are thankful for.
emphasizing the feeling of thankfulness and related feelings of gladness, relief, reassurance, love, pleasure, happiness. Perhaps grateful for food. Letting your mind relax and be open to whatever appears. What are some things that come into awareness that you're glad about, thankful for? Staying out of complicated thoughts. Simply being mindful of the experience of thankfulness, of gratitude, perhaps with different aspects. And opening to dwell in this experience of gratitude. To maintain the experience of gratitude, you might have soft thoughts from time to time, such as, I am grateful, or simply grateful. Be aware of what gratitude feels like in your body. You might have a sense of the area around your heart opening. perhaps an easing in your body. You might softly say in your mind, thank you, thank you, and be aware of how that feels. Be aware of the land 
the earth, plants and animals? Can you find thankfulness for these? Can you appreciate the vast number of individual plants and animals that have enabled your own living over the years? Can you be thankful for them? Be aware of people in your life today for whom you're thankful. And it's fine to be appreciative of some aspect of a person or aspect of the relationship while also recognizing other parts that you're not so glad about. Focusing in here and the simple sense of thankfulness for what you receive, what you've been given by various people in your life these days. Stay out of entanglements with them in your mind right now. Keep it simple. You might just imagine various people and looking at them and being with them and most sincerely in your mind saying, thank you, and know what you're thanking them for. Be mindful of what it feels like, including in your heart, 
to be grateful to particular people in your life these days. Staying with the simple sense of gratitude. Nothing else, nothing complicated. Whatever is your genuine gratitude. Also be aware of people in your past for whom you feel grateful. All kinds of people, maybe some of them you don't have a particularly clear memory of, but you know that your first grade teacher, for example, was really kind to you. Or you might have a dim emotional sense of a grandparent uh, when you were very young. Teachers, friends, people who opened doors for you, people who just had a good time with you. Look back over your life and be aware of some of the many people you can be grateful to. If you like, you might imagine a kind of gathering of dozens, potentially hundreds or more people that have helped you along your way, They've given you things along your way. And look out at the crowd, all these people, and thank them. Perhaps just simply, thank you. Other feelings might be coming up for you, perhaps happiness, perhaps sadness. Sadness may be related to people you're grateful to who are no longer with you, no longer alive maybe. It's okay, it's all okay. Resting in gratitude.
You might also have gratitude for key non-human animals in your life, pets, companions, maybe mysterious encounters with some non-human creature that has been meaningful to, been meaningful to you. And if it's meaningful for you, you might have a sense of gratitude for, for guides, spirits, something maybe religious or spiritual, if that's there for you. That's something else to be thankful for. What's it like to rest in thankfulness? You might have a sense of feelings of anxiety or pressure, contraction, falling away. Could be a sense of contentment. Feeling content in the present with a grateful heart.
And in the last few minutes here, you can open up your imagination and see if there are other things that speak to you that you can be thankful for. Perhaps qualities inside your own being, a natural goodness. You could be grateful for that. Perhaps a sense of the mystery of the universe existing at all. Could be grateful for that too. Perhaps teachers and lineages of teaching. Communities of practice. Perhaps grateful for that as well. 